Hey everyone, it's Gary here from Echidna Sewing and uh, today I want to talk about one of my favorite um, applications within the Embrilliance embroidery software and that's called, it's a thing called Knockdown Stitches. Now it's a bit of a rage at the moment because everybody's talking about it, uh, particularly on social media. And uh, Knockdown Stitches, so what do they do and what does it actually mean? It's, uh, it's essentially a program, a part of the program that lays down a whole beautiful um, bed of stitches that knock down the pile or the, the um, nap of a towel or any other item that has a, a, a thicker sort of pile to it. And um, I think the word knock down is the perfect uh, word to explain it because that's what it does. So where will we use these things and what's it all about? I have in front of me a, um, a very simple and open design that we've stitched out on what I think is a, it's not an expensive towel, it's a pretty basic towel, but it's got quite a high pile or a loop to it. And, uh, and I think it's, a, it's the sort of towel that with a, a bit of laundering is actually going to really look a bit shabby and not, not so good. But hey, that's what people do, you know, like we do, we do buy towels that are sometimes inexpensive. And even when you buy really expensive towels, they sometimes have a very, very high pile and um, it's difficult to embroider on. So before I show you what happens on the Embrilliance software, I'm going to, we're going to have a closer look at three of these stitch outs. It's the same design in all, in all situations. So first one we're going to zoom into is um, a design that we stitch directly onto the, the towel without any stabilizer or, oh sorry, I did have stabilizer, I did use a wash away on the back, but it, there's no topping on here, it's just stitched onto the towel. And honestly, I'm always surprised when I see people come in and say, hey, my machine's not working well. Um, and look at the stitch out and it's a design stitched on a towel with no topping or, or nothing to sort of hold the, the pile or the nap of the towel down. And uh, that's what this first design is. So you can see there, it looks pretty untidy and you'll see that the, um, the pile is, is kind of spilling out all over this open design because this is not a fully filled design. And to be honest, using a, a design that's really intense with stitch count and, and very full is not necessarily nice on a towel because it's, it, it gets a bit sort of cardboardy and it's not very nice to use the towel like that. So having an open design is kind of good, but not when you don't stitch it correctly because it looks terrible. Now this towel, um, after being embroidered, has been laundered once and already the, the pile is starting to sort of fluff and loo loosen up a bit. And let's have a look at the close-up view of that now. And uh, you can see it's pretty, it's pretty untidy. You can imagine what that's going to look like after, say, a dozen or, you know, or a couple of dozen of wash cycles. It's going to look really terrible and you won't be happy with the embroidery and you'll end up discarding the, tile and not, uh, the towel and not using it. So that first one is stitched without a topping. So let's move on, have a look at the second one. It's a bit neater because on this one I used, in fact, I think I used a heat away topping on this one. So uh, the, the stitching looks better, but still after one launder, the, um, the, the pile of the towel is still starting to really lift and get a bit shabby and not look so great. And again, when you look at the close up view on this, um, again, stitching looks good, but I know that that's going to get deteriorate quite quickly over time after after a few more um, laundry cycles, and it won't look that nice moving forward. And you'll end up probably not using the towel for the intended purpose. Now, again, I'm only using a really basic design here and quite an open design. You'll notice there's no fill stitching in the middle of that rose, and there's there's some relatively fine stitches around this, the the um, the leaves, etc. Uh, so it's a good design to use in a towel because it's not going to have that sort of cardboardy feel. But if you don't do it right, it's not going to look nice. So anyway, that's the second one. That was using just a wash away backing and a heat away topping. I could have used our Super Solve or the water soluble topping as well, and that would have been fine. I just chose to use a heat away for no other reason than I had it. Um, so there's those two. Now, let's look at what the, the, the design with the knockdown stitches looks like. Already, you can see it looks much cleaner. The design is popping. It's, it's coming out to us. And that's because we have knockdown stitches. Now, you'll notice there's very, very few tiny little um, bits of pile showing through, hardly anything. You won't notice it. And that's after the same wash. This has been washed at the same time. Obviously, it's on the same towel. Um, and you can see the, um, the very sort of open white fill stitches. And a knockdown stitch is actually that. It's a very open fill stitch that is contoured around the whole design and stitches down the, the pile of the towel before we actually sew the design. 
And the beauty of that is all you have to do is when you create a knockdown stitch, which I'm going to show you a moment in In Brilliance, is match the color of the towel to be the first color of the design because the knockdown stitch will be the first part of the design. And as long as you match the color, obviously on white it was easy, I have white, um, but you know, if it's pink, blue, whatever, just match the color as close as you can, the thread color as close as you can with the towel and you'll get a stunning result on anything you do with towels. So let's have a look at how this actually works. Now I have the Embrilliance program open and, um, in, and I should say knockdown stitching is part of the enthusiast module. So if you have Embrilliance enthusiast, you have knockdown stitches already installed. And uh, uh, if you have the uh, Embrilliance advanced or the full Embrilliance suite, you will have the knockdown stitches as part of it. So first things first, I'm going to import the design that I stitched here. So I just go up to my merge stitch file option and I happen to know that design is on a USB that I have plugged in at the moment, it's on this USB, there it is. So we'll just import that design and there it is on screen. I'm just gonna make that a wee bit bigger. I don't wanna fill the whole screen because I just wanna show you um, as clear as I can how this all works. So as you can see, this, this design has got 8,372 stitches. It's 147 millimeters wide. Um, this is not a lesson on Embrilliant, so I'm not gonna dig too far into it. It's about knockdown stitches and how easy it is. So the design is inserted. There's my color stops there. All I need to do to create uh, a knockdown stitch is go to my utilities menu, the top, click on that, come down and add knockdown stitch. At this point, I can decide what density I want, what stitch length, inflation. Inflation means this, the how far it's going to be outside around the, um, the design. I, to be honest, I'm going to leave it where it is. If you've been messing around with it, you can just hit reset defaults. I find the default position is really good. If you just do that, it will work pretty much for you. If you're an advanced person, you like to mess around and change things, go ahead, knock yourself out. But the, the, the default position is great. So just click OK and watch the magic. That's now done. Now what you can see now is it's automatically created a beautiful contoured shape around the whole design very, very simply and elegant, elegantly. And it has filled it with a very open fill stitch. It doesn't add a great deal of density, density to the design. It's quite open, but it's enough to knock down the pile or the, the nap of the towel or whatever item you're actually stitching on. Fleecy, polar fleece, all that sort of thing. And as soon as I deselect that, you'll notice that the underlay stitching, they call it an underlay, but it's, it's the knockdown, is actually stitching first. It automatically places it first in the stitch sequence. And that is all you have to do. And, and in fact, all that's left to do now is go to File, Save Stitch File As. I would save it to my USB. I don't need to save it because I've already got it. Save it in the format that you have and take it to the machine. So that is creating a knockdown stitch in Embrilliance. It doesn't get any simpler than that. And I can assure you, once you use a knockdown stitch to sew the next project you do with a towel or polar fleece or anything that's kind of, you know, got a nap or a pile to it, you will never go back. You'll use a knockdown stitch every time. Now, the next question is, did I also use a topping on the knockdown stitch? You can, you, you, you can choose not to. I prefer to use a topping as well. So I stitch the knockdown stitch first and then I place the topping down and then I stitch the design on top of the topping. Why do I do that? Because depending on the, the, the topping that you're using, for example, heat away, um, it would be difficult to get the little bits of uh, heat away out of the, the knockdown stitch. So don't do it on that. Run your knockdown stitch, then put your topping down and then continue on with your design. The benefit of the topping is it does help the stitches sit a little prouder on, and, and, and more full, if you like, particularly satin stitches, on top of the actual, um, on top of the towel or, and, and particularly on top of the knockdown stitches. So that fullness in stitching just makes the design pop even a bit further and it's really, really simple to remove your topping then. Um, I'm a topping fan. I use toppings 
particularly when I'm doing small lettering, I use them on anything I do. And uh, don't ever be scared to use it in the most crazy places because toppings do, I think, give a, bit, a better stitch result. So anyway, that's it. Knockdown stitches, super simple. You need the enthusiast level of Embrilliance, at least that, to do knockdown stitches automatically. And uh, if you have any questions at all, please give us a call, contact us on uh, online, um, by email, whatever you need to do if you have questions about uh, Embrilliance. Great software, fantastic team of developers, and um, I know there's so many exciting new things on the horizon for Embrilliance. It's worth getting into this program. That's it for me now. From now, um, happy embroidering. Cheers. Mm -hmm.